de I decided completely on my own to redo the Starbound story. And I noticed completely on my own and without the help of anyone else. Baron's Keep, I found this weird little room after pulling a lever. Uh-oh. Well, hello there! Uh-oh. Don't you vomit your kin at me, fish man? Some spooky books here. What is... What is this? What is this? This tattered grimoire. For this mission, I feel like I must... I must traverse it alone. Uh, anyway, I found all these, like, damned near impossible to read books. Drive people insane. I'm just gonna leave them here on the ship. Yeah, uh, no one read them, please. I trust many of you. I haven't seen that guy since episode one. My god, it's the singing magic Muppets. My arch enemy on this frozen hellscape, the horror. That sign may stop a lesser man, but I do not know how to read. In terms of bathroom graffiti, this isn't really what, really what I'm used to. Usually people just take a sharpie and write horrible things about my boss. I'm starting to get, get a bad feeling about this place. Oh, thank god. I've got this or- this organ. Chili peppers? My god, the horror. Who would ever dare eat a- eat a pepper so hot? <laughs> Only someone who is mad would do such a thing. I'm the protagonist in a horror movie. I need to do some, like, weird sketchy things that defy logic. My god, this place truly is insane. The controls for the elevators are, like, behind doors. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. You actually kind of take a little bit to kill. Found something digging amongst the ice. Oh, it's just a little worm thing. Ugh, it's trying to spunk on me. Ah, the main power override. Ultra chores cannot actually harm you as long as the area is well lit. And I hope this mission's a quickie. I don't have too much food on me. I've... Maybe before I get too deep into this, I need to... <laughs> I should probably actually listen to many of the warnings and turn back and go, like, hit up a McDonald's or something. Ah, uh, yes, like every good horror movie, the ability to just teleport away from my fears at the push of a button and return to the safety of my estate. Ugh, I don't wanna take take my men deep into the to another hellscape. I've asked so much of them, I can't possibly ask more from them. I must traverse this alone. It's my character. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go grab a drink. Like every good Lovecraftian adventure, the protagonist is a is a horrible drunk to cope with the horrible things he's seen and witnessed. I haven't encountered anything that would shatter my already fragile mental state. Ah, cold water! It's maddening. How can mankind perceive of water so? So dastardly chilled. Ah, the bolter. Reliably purging the world of anything that not of this world. My god, penguins! Bird who cannot fly. Very concept. Trying to comprehend that. Plagues my mind. Haunts me in my dreams. Oh fuck, I hope you don't need rope very much in this mission. Oh well I guess I I care. Ugh! Jesus Christ! Oh no, secret of the ooze. People here tried to turn themselves into ninja turtles. Ah, Jesus. Oh, I can loot it, what the fuck? My dream. Now this person's dream is a lot different than Martin Luther King's, that's for sure. This ain't gonna be some paragon of racial equality. Slaves rose up, 
Yeah, see, this bitch is like... I kind of, I'm kind of getting a tone that she wasn't happy about the slaves rising up. This is no Martin Luther King. This person was a racist. That's why she died. Wait a minute. My god, no matter where I go, I really can't escape you fucking people now, can I? How? How are there Florins here? Uh, okay, we'll cross the road, that road when we get there. Wait, is this filling the room up with deadly poison? Uh, a Squidward and a Caco Demon is waiting for me on the behind the door. Oh shit! Squidward doesn't fuck around in this universe. Hey, are you a Shoggoth or a Deep One? My Bolter really doesn't care much about the difference, but you know, a Descendant Pit of Fire Traps is actually pretty tame. Oh shit! Okay, you just because I was shit talking your trap doesn't mean you have to send more. Oh fuck, and I can't jump. Oh, I'm gonna die. This. <laughs> hey man, are you alive? I don't even know where to be. Begin on this one. Much later. Okay, the solution. I don't get it. But then again, it is Lovecraft, so if I understood it... Yeah, whoever built this place, they really like two things. Caves and puzzles that don't make any fucking sense. Alright, lore. I'm sure someone worked very hard writing this. They'd be very mad if I didn't read it. Oh. Wow, Lovecraft really knows how to test my patience. Jumping puzzles will definitely do it. What? Oh shit! <laughs> I better get a blowjob from Cthulhu after all this. Okay, I can't possibly fuck it up this time. Aha! But this is just a place for me to write erotica. Is this a new area? Yeah, there's an asshole here. That means I must be going the right way. All right, Star Spawn. I don't know what rules you've been play playing with for, for a few thousand years now, but this is how these fights go. Basically, you're gonna die in a couple hits. You're gonna be a mediocre boss fight, and we're all gonna point and laugh at you. Oh my god. Whoever built this place really likes water balance and puzzles. Formless horror. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're a beefy boy. I'll just, oh no, I can't hide behind these walls. Oh, uh, the fact that you're not dead yet is very concerning. Most bosses die. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, where's that fucking BFG? Uh, oh shit. All right, Nova Kid Artifact, you've really got to pull your weight on this one. Well, thank God this thing is just so big. I can't possibly miss my shots just firing blind into the dark. Oh, this is it. I'm dead. It's going to kill me if it touches me. Huh. Wait, that was it? That was Delta Freya. That's it? That was Delta Freya? That was just, that was just playing Pipe Dream and Edgy Gore Art. <laughs> well, well, it'd be really fucking spooky for this Halloween special is if I go collected rent a day or early. Yeah, that's right. If you don't have your money prepared, you are out of here on Halloween. This is when all the ghouls and goblins come out. You really want to be homeless for that? Hey, get the fuck out. I need psychotic help. I'm gonna shoot you. Well, this is my plan to save Halloween. Ah, yes. Look what I have completely randomly 
stumbled across some form of... Oh, what the shit? What the fuck is in this back room? Well, Bolter wins again, I guess. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't under understand the back room thing at all. Like, I know it was a trend a while ago. And funny enough, this mod is actually like two years old, so it kind of predicted the popularity of it. The whole back room thing, it's actually, it's actually like the first time a meme or a trend has caught on that I didn't like understand or fully grasp. I think it, that means I'm like getting old, you no? Know? I'm not even that old, like I'm only like 24. I already can't relate to people that are, like, younger than me. I didn't think it would happen. I've always been a pretty hip guy, and now it's... And I knew it blew up, because while I was looking through my YouTube... My YouTube analytics, I know a bunch of you fuck... You people watching right now do, were searching for Backrooms content on YouTube. The back. All right, is this gonna sell me on the whole back rooms concept? So the ba so the back rooms are where people who no clip end up. Oh, I guess the mod <laughs> the mod author just completely forgot to uh, block protect. Also, this mod maker uh forgot to like not make the wiring of the dungeon hidden. So what's really funny is I can just straight up discon <laughs> disconnect the console. Like, if this is just like a bad representation of the back rooms, just like, please tell me in the comment. Like the whole aesthetic of the back rooms, if I'm gonna be honest with you, it just reminds me of like, my like grandma's retirement home. Like, is the back rooms just built from a fear of, like, the young generation visiting their fucking grandparents? Sorry, if I was born three years earlier, would I find this stuff creepy? Sorry that the- sorry that the Halloween kinda sucked. Like most Halloween nights as a kid, I guess it started out strong and optimistic on a high note. You're looking forward to all the candy, just like how I was looking forward to Delta Freya. You came home and opened your bag, and you just f and you found toothpaste and apples. But I hope your Halloween was a lot better than was a lot better than this. Anyway, sorry sorry for the drought. O October was surprisingly busy for me. The next video should should be out much, much sooner than this one was from the last, so stay tuned.